everything. God wants you to do everything for Him. You bake a cake, you bake it for Him. You make a soup, you make it for Him. You make a salad, make it for Him. You cook some vegetables, cook it for Him. You clean the house, you clean it for Him. Not for yourself. Not for me. Not for your friend. Not for your husband. Not for your parents. Only for Him. Because in your life, there is only one friend. He. Your true husband is God. Your true lover is God. Your true friend is God. All the rest are only passengers. They will leave you alone in this world and world. Nobody came with you. Nobody will be with you. Except God. Have this conviction. Have this faith. Have this belief. And God is not attending bhajans. God is not attending satsangs. God is not by going and visiting holy places. God is living with Him, for Him, with Him, in Him. Living for God is real devotion, is love. Living with God is real service. Living in God is real wisdom. To that. Continuously your mind, you should be possessed about God. In order to do that, you have to read such books where God shows His magnificence, His splendor, His miracles. But do not be under that wrong impression. That God is sitting in India. God is sitting in India. God is sitting here. God is sitting here. In every little strand of this carpet, there is God. In every atom, there is God. In every breath, there is God. In every drop of your blood inside your body, there is God. In every cell, there is God. In every cell, there is a nucleus. In nucleus there is God. Every nucleus has got chromosomes. In every chromosome there is God. Every chromosome has got DNA. In every DNA there is God. In every DNA there are genes. In every genes there is God. Every gene is made up of atoms. In every atom there is God. Every atom is made up of subatomic particles. In subatomic particles there is God. Every subatomic particle is made up of energy. Every energy is God. There is nothing but God. It is an illusion to think that anything other than God exists. These are all different forms of God. You, God, decided to become Aista and he has become. God decided to become Natasha and he became Natasha. God decided to become Ravi, he became Ravi. Ravi is a name given to this dead body. It is he who is breathing. It is he who is seeing. It is he who is hearing. It is he who is speaking. It is he who is eating. It is he who is walking. It is he who is sleeping. Everything is God. There is nothing that Hitler, the Hitler in Hitler there was God. In Osama bin Laden there is God. Everywhere there is God. Then you might ask, why did Hitler behave like a monster? There are many other concepts called Vasanas. Vasanas. These vasanas trouble a man. You don't want to smoke, but something is pushing you. Smoke. Your vasanas. What are vasanas? Vasanas are habits which have been coming birth after birth, birth after birth, birth after birth, birth after birth. They are the dirt layer. One layer of dirt, another layer of dirt, another layer of dirt. The dead dirt has gone accumulating. They have become very thick. That dirt is forcing you to do wrong things. Beneath that dirt is the diamond of God shining. You are not able to see this God shining God because of the dirt. Remove this dirt, you will see God. Feel God, feel God, feel God. You are walking every step when you walk home, walk alone. Don't walk with your friends. Walk alone. God. God is walking with me. Jesus 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 is on my right side. Jesus is on my left side. Jesus is in front of me. Jesus is behind me. Jesus is 
is above me. Jesus is below me. I am in Jesus. I am walking inside Jesus. Jesus is around me. Jesus is with me. Jesus is speaking. Jesus is hearing. Jesus is seeing. Jesus is thinking. Jesus is eating. Jesus is smelling. Jesus is breathing. Jesus is walking. Jesus is doing. Think, 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 think. God, 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 God. The more you think, there is dirty water in this bottle. How can I clean this water? I take this water bottle, throw the water, and I put in fresh water. That is one way. Second way, I take this bottle, dirty water, keep it beneath, beneath the tap, open the tap. The water keeps on flowing inside, and the dirty water keeps on flowing outside. After some time, the water in this bottle will be clean. You have to pump in clean water. You have to pump in the thought of God. Then when the more you pump in thought of God, all the dirt will come out. And one day you will shine. It is not impossible. It is possible. Have that conviction. Have that faith. Have that strength. The strength is inside you. Not in books. Not in India. People come to Mudanadi and ask, Why, what are you doing here? What are you doing in India? No, he came to see Swami. Swami is inside you. Have that faith. Have that faith. People ask me, suppose Swami sends you to some other country. Will you not miss Muddhanahali? I will never miss Muddhanahali. Why? Because God is walking with me. You can run away from me. You don't like to listen to me, you can go out. But can you run away from God? You cannot. You hide beneath this carpet, God is there. You go and open your cupboard and you hide inside the cupboard, God is there. There was a teacher. It's a very beautiful story of song. He was a teacher. He had many students. It was in the old system of education in those days in India. After finishing the education, the teacher gave each of them an apple and said, you have to eat this apple, but under one condition. Nobody should see you. Not even a bird, not even an animal, not even an insect should see you eating this. No human being should see you. No birds, no animals, no nothing should see you. Go anywhere you want, but make sure that nobody should see you. Then after some time, in the evening, one by one, the students started coming. And the master asked, hey? One student said, Sir, I hid in a cave. Nobody saw me. There was no animal, no bird. I am very sure nobody saw me. Guru said, well done. The next boy came. He also said something. I closed myself in the room. I made sure there were no insects, no birds, no animals. Good job. One by one, one by one, the students. Then the master saw there was one student who did not come. He got worried. Why has this boy not come? It was already dark, night. Then the boy came took the apple which the teacher had given him and gave it back to the teacher. He said, sir, I have failed. The teacher asked, why? Did you not find a place where there was nobody? He said, sir, there was no place I found where God is not. He is continuously watching me. How can I hide from him, sir? How can I eat this apple without his knowledge? He is inside me. He is everywhere. Teacher said, you have really understood my teachings. 
you cannot escape God. It is a wrong idea. It is a wrong notion. It is a misconception to come in search of God to any place in this world. People go to Vatican. They pray in front of the Pope. They think that God is sitting in that church. God is there. But God is in your heart. My master tells another very interesting story. Sir was a businessman in the olden days. He had to go to some other town. In those days there was no cycle, no vehicle. So they had to go walking or in a horse cart. So they went in a horse cart. At night they came to a village. So the businessman thought, he's got a lot of money in the box. At night it is not good because there might be thieves on the way. So he decided to stay in a lodge, in an inn, in a hotel. And when they went into the room, the businessman had to open the box. And the servant was standing with him, with whom he was walking. And the servant saw the box. It was full of money. Oh, so much money. Tonight I will steal. The servant thought. The businessman noticed that the servant was watching the box. He did not say anything. He locked the box. And at night he went to sleep. The night the servant got up and he saw the boss was sleeping. He slowly came up to the boss, lifted his pillow to see if the key was there. The key was not there. Where did the boss keep the key? Ah, the boss shirt is hanging on the wall. He went and checked the pocket. Then he checked the pockets of the trousers. I know where the boss has kept the key. He thought the boss had kept the key inside the shoe. So he went inside, put the hand inside the shoe. But there was no key. Maybe the boss is sleeping on the key. So he quietly took up the mat and he saw beneath. There was no key. He was really fed up. Where did the boss keep the key? He was very angry. But he did not, could not do anything. He went and slept off. In the morning, when the boss got up, he woke up the servant. He said, get up, it is time to go. When the servant got up, he lifted his pillow and took out the key from him. So my master used to say, we will search everywhere. But we don't search it under our own nose. God is inside me. I search everywhere for God. But God is right beneath my pillow. Inside me. And I don't search for Him. What a shame. What a shame. Understand. Please understand. God is not sitting in any temple alone. God is also in temples. God is also in church. God is also in uh, 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 mosques. Mechit. God is also in synagogues, everywhere. He is also in your heart. He is in the heart of your wife. He is in the heart of your children. He has to be to I especially, younger generation, they are not Prosta prakhidic, prosta nakhidic of kakomta satsang. Просто посетить какой-то храм, просто слушать сатсан ни к чему. Если не будете практиковаться. Spirituality means practice. Все. Practice. Live with God. Constantly think of God. Whatever you see, this flower, in this flower there is God. In this vase, vase is God. Water, water is God. 
when you constantly practice this, you will feel God in every human being. You will stop hating people. Even you will not get angry with people. You will have only one quality in you. Love. You will just love everybody. You know why? Without expecting anything in return. You will just love because you know nothing else. In your dictionary, all the pages will be white. Except L. All other pages will be white. This mind will be blank. No thoughts. Because you will be like a sponge soaked in water. It's not difficult. Wow, what is this? <laughs>